Hello and welcome to our 30 minute hit interval session and I'm with the Yates twins from Mitchelton Scott. Just getting the names right, Simon on my left <laughs> and Adam on my right. This is going to be a very, very tough session. We're going to be on board our Elite Doretto Smart Trainers and we're going to be using the Mighty app from Elite to just adjust our resistance. And I'm going to tell you now in this warm up a little bit more about what is in store. Now, a hit session is high intensity interval training. And what we're going to do is six 30 second bursts, peppered with riding at FTP. And thankfully, you'll be glad to know we've got some recovery bits in there as well. But first up, and we're nearly a minute in already, is a nice graduated warm up. So we're starting off at a perceived effort level between one and 10, of round two, building up to five. That's five minutes. Then we go in to riding at tempo. So for those of you riding without a power meter, again, it's a perceived effort level of around seven. Just building things up, getting the blood flowing to your muscles, getting your breathing right, and getting to the point that when we start pressing on the pedals really hard and doing these intervals, that we're pretty much primed and optimized. So from the to its tempo, we'd be riding at FTP, so functional threshold power. The amount of effort you can sustain for an hour, that for two minutes, and then we get to the rather nasty pointy end of this session, and that's the intervals themselves. And they come in the form of a flat out 30 second burst. Once that's done, we drop back down to riding at threshold. So very, very hard, no real chance to recover. And after two minutes, back up again for 30 seconds flat out, a perceived effort level of basically 10, so it's a max effort. And then you'll be pleased to know we have two minutes of recovery before we do that again. Recover, do it again, and then we cross the finish line. So, still just under three minutes of this warm up to go. But really important that you make sure if you're riding indoors at home, you're not out on a patio, you have a well, uh, well ventilated area, and you've got plenty of drinks on board as well. It's only a half an hour session, but you will need to keep hydrated, especially if you're indoors. So small sips throughout the session is what you need to aim for. And importantly, make sure you're fully hydrated before you do this session as well. And this session will get you used to kind of race winning efforts. And because there's not a lot of recovery in between these, these sharp efforts, it'll also help with your endurance as well. And this sort of session, really ideal for those that are time crunched. If you're around uh, riding and training around a full-time job or full-time education, this is the sort of session that, that if you recover right, combine it with some good endurance rides on the road, maybe another turbo session in the week, you can really start going places, really improve your condition, make you go faster and quicker and make you fitter as well, as long as you recover too. So we're coming up now one and a half minutes more of spinning. So Sai, how are you feeling mate? Looking forward to these efforts? Should be difficult I think, yeah. as always. But it'll be okay. Yeah. Should be good. And Adam, do you do much turbo training mate? You're looking a little bit anxious mate. <laughs> <right here. laughs> uh, I do a little bit every now and again, but uh, mainly on a TT bike. Mainly but, on a TT uh, bike. Yeah, I'm sure this session will be uh, pretty, pretty, pretty tough. Yeah, I used to quite, as you may know, as you've watched GCM for a while, I used to train a lot on the indoor trainer, really did help, especially to get that race sharpness at the beginning of the season. When doing hard intervals in cold, the cold climate was, uh, was very difficult. Especially now the new generation of smart, smart trains, this is the Doretto Intelligent Smart Trainers, we're using the app. You can really monitor all of your metrics on screen, adjust the resistance accordingly. Got my heart rate here, my power, my cadence, everything that you need. So now 30 seconds to go before we lift things and heading towards a little bit of tempo. So it's kind of a phase between the warm up and riding at threshold. Just a graduated incremental warm up essentially. Try and keep the cadence at around 90 all the way through to the harsh 30 second intervals. Try and up the cadence to around 100, maybe even 110. So this session, short, but pretty sweet. So, okay, let's lift it now. 
tempo at the upper sprocket. You start to feel the bite, but this should be a pace you can sustain for an hour, a couple, or a couple of hours. You'll know about it after a couple of hours, definitely. Try and get the legs turning as well. And this sort of session, so, so valuable. A really intense session. And the wonderful thing about riding indoors, although it isn't for everybody, you can incorporate it, incorporate it into your training. It's a really pure form of effort. No other thing is to get in the way. You can just focus on your form, your shape on the bike and getting the power through without having to worry about road hazards, other traffic, weather conditions. It's a real pure condensed form of training. Don't get me wrong, it's very, very hard indeed. But once you've done it, you can bathe in the warm afterglow and maybe look forward to a piece of cake. A bit like your cake. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I think we're all thinking about cake right now. But we've got a few intervals to do. Six in total. So another 45 seconds of tempo riding. Just keep it nice and smooth. Real good road feel on these Doretto trainers. Again, fully adjustable. Real space saving home trainer as well. Use legs fold away, put it away. Especially if you live in a small, a small space. And it's quite low noise as well. So it won't wake your neighbors up. Okay, 10 seconds now. So we're gonna lift it now to riding at functional threshold power. Those of you without power meters, perceived effort level of around eight, keeping the cadence the same. So here we go. So, this is the sort of pace you'd be pretty uncomfortable, just the pace you can sustain for around an hour. Okay? Two minutes of this. I might just back off talking for a bit. I think I might be annoying the boys, actually. <laughs> Luckily, they've not said anything yet. Coming up to a minute. First interval coming up in a minute's time now. Just stay focused. Think about your form on the bike. Using these sorts of sessions is a great time to think about your position on the bike. Shouldn't be gripping the bars too hard. Also think about your position out on the road as well. Get yourself nice and low, that blend of the ability to produce power, be comfortable, but also be aero. The big three points you can work on. So 25 seconds till the first brutal interval. So, you looking forward to it? Oh, I don't know. I'll have to see after, I think. Okay. okay. We had a nice espresso before this. I think we're up <laughs> for it. Okay, 10 seconds, guys. And then I want 30 seconds of your best effort, all right? You at home as well. Three, two, one, go, come on. Effort level 10. Okay, down the threshold now though. No big recovery. But making an effort in a race and getting caught by having to hold on. Really good for your top end, but also your endurance. The ability to sustain, become resilient in numerous situations out on the road. It hurts, but it's worth it. So come on, keep on going. Should be able to get control back of your breathing 
even though you're pressing on. Looking good, side. Don't be afraid to do what side's doing as well. Keep the power down, up it a couple of gears. Just give your glutes a bit of a rest. Your lower back. You want to get a numb backside. 10 seconds and back down if you need to. Okay. Number five more, 30 second intervals to go. Break it down into bite sized chunks. Best way to do it. Such a good session, this. Okay, 30 seconds to the next interval. Okay guys, focus now, yeah? Both of you. Two, and one, all the way, come on! Okay, knock it down now boys and girls, everybody at home, take on to a little ring if you need to. Perceived effort of five for two minutes. Use this time to spin your legs, get those toxins out. Try and keep the cadence to about 90. Just give your body a chance to recoup. If you keep doing efforts like that without recovering, it can help with your endurance. But what will happen is, you don't recover enough in between each one, the quality of each interval diminishes. And that's a different sort of training. So with these little recovery bits, although progressively they'll all hurt more and more, we just want to make sure in this short space of time we've got, 30 minutes, that we're optimizing all of those 30 seconds. So a little sip. Oh. How are you feeling, Adam? Yeah, not too bad. Right. First one. Yeah. Always the easiest, easiest one. Yeah. 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 I think it's really important that you, uh, when you do the threshold section, really got threshold because if you're trying to do more, then, like you said before, the next interval will uh, be much worse. Oh, definitely. Keep it consistent as possible. That's amazing. It's the right environment to do that as well. You've got the clock in front of you. You've got me here telling you what to do. Stick to that, stay disciplined. Really good bit of advice there for Adam. Don't try too hard because you'll materially affect the quality of the next interval. And hard enough as it is, you don't want to die towards the back end of it. So, good idea to select the gear and you're going to be uh, doing the next threshold bit in now. So 10 seconds to go. Just enjoy these last few seconds before we knock it up to riding at threshold. Remember, effort level of eight coming up in three, two, one. And lift it for two minutes now, guys. All right, just hold it nice and smooth. Think about comfortable hand position. Try and get low if you can. Try and replicate your position out on the road. Nice and smooth. Grippy but sustainable. Just watch that cadence. Again, as Adam said, don't push yourself too hard. Still got four 30 second reps to go. And then a nice little warm down at the end. And then, a bit of cake, if you fancy it. Okay. I haven't done it today, but it's worth putting a towel over your bars as well. So your sweat doesn't start to corrode your expensive kit. 
Okay, a minute now for the next interval. Once the next interval's done, we're halfway through the intervals. Keep it going. Just think of all the good this is going to do you. And these guys will be taking their condition to the Grand Tours. Tour de France, Walter Giro. Now we just run to the cap. Brilliant. Okay. 20 seconds. Remember, 10 seconds time, everything you've got, 30 seconds. Two, one, and go, come on! And down, threshold. Don't let it slip too much. 90 RPM. It'll take a while for breathing to settle. Stay focused, it's gonna hurt. It's all in the bank. All of this training is an investment. You're halfway through the 30 second interval, now only three more to go. Keep it going, you're doing great. My distinct lack of talking is indicative of how I'm feeling now. <laughs> Minute until the next interval. Stay focused. It's going to start to hurt now. Just make sure you don't get too ragged on the bike. It's a good idea to either hold the drops or the hoods just to stabilize yourself a little bit. Nice bit of core work. Wouldn't go and miss as well. Give yourself a good platform for delivering that power. 30 seconds. Okay, I'm not looking forward to this. Fifteen. Three, two, one, go! Come on! What have you got? Let go, go. Okay, keep the legs turning. Knock it down. One more recovery session. Two minutes. Oh, God. Yeah. Keep those legs turning, guys. You at home as well. Just keep them turning. Okay. Effort level of five. Nice and easy. We're still ticking over nicely. 90 RPM. Get your breathing back and reflect on the fact you've done four. Only two more to go. So one more threshold, one more interval, another threshold, another interval, and then we're in the home straight. So great work so far, and cheers guys. Both looking good. Very eager, just a bit. When the, the sessions are so short, you've really got to get it out, I think. Oh, definitely. Yeah. 
That's important for a, little, a nice little warm up, as you say. Yeah. When you haven't got a lot of time, these can really, you can really reap the benefits from these short oh, sessions. Sure. Sure. So, Simon, do you do much on the turbo at all, or? Oh, very similar to Adam. Yeah. Uh, a lot of work on the TT bike. Okay. Um, I think it's really beneficial also just to be able to hold the position on the TT bike. Yeah. Concentrate on the effort, yeah. holding the position, and you don't have to worry about any traffic or anything like that. And that's where you can really get the most benefits, I think. Good stuff. Well, I'm afraid that little bit of chat has taken us nearly to the point we've got to the tail end of this session. So, opportunity now, guys, to get it into the gear ready for knocking up an effort, an effort level or two. So, okay, threshold coming up, so FTP, or effort level of eight for the penultimate time. Two and one, here we go. Just lift it nice, nice and smooth. No harsh effort, just get it to the point, feel that bite and hold it. Great stuff. And as Simon said, just Hold that position. These guys use it for TT bikes a lot, but you can do it in your road bike as well. Get on the hoods, get on the drops. Try and maintain it. Okay, there's no problem moving around a bit, but these short sessions, it's good to try and get a bit of discipline drilled in and hold that position. Great stuff. Sun's come out for us as well. Just over eight minutes left now. And a real good session. Got one of these sessions in once or twice a week. Combine it with some riding on the road. That's a great road feel from these Doretto trainers. It replicates that feeling. Various modes you can use. The app's great for adjusting the resistance as you see fit. And these fold away nice and small as well. You haven't got a lot of space at home. So, 30 seconds to the next interval. Just really make these count, guys. It's your time, so don't cheat. Don't count the corners. You want all the effort. It's only short, be over soon. So commit yourself 100% to this next interval. Okay. All right, boys. Three, two, one. Come on, 12 FTP. Don't knock off too much. Effort level of eight. Well done. Keep it rolling. Keep discipline. RPO 90. FTP for those of you with power meters. Just hold it. You're nearly there. Just over six minutes of riding. Keep it smooth. Really help build your top end, these sorts of sessions. If you recover well, eat well, sleep well, balance your training, you'll reap the benefits. But it's worth writing your training down, planning ahead as well. And that way you're far more likely to stick to a plan. It doesn't have to be chapter and verse. Stick it in your diary, and generally speaking, you'll stick to it. Okay. OK, 
coming up in 25 seconds is the last interval. Many attempts to the tank, boys, all right? You at home? 15 seconds to the last one. Make this one count. You're away in a race. You're beating your mates. You're setting a new record on a climb. This is what it's all about. Here we go. Three, two. Come on, guys, let's go. All the way. Guys, this one's a minute, by the way. I'm sorry I said. Sorry about that. The last one's a minute. It's okay. Just hold it. Should have mentioned that, shouldn't I? A little tasty twist. 25 seconds to go. I put you right in the red. Come on. 20 seconds. You're going to be slow, but it doesn't matter. Just keep it on. Five, two, all the way. Sorry about that little twist. Oh, it's 30 seconds. It was a minute. Then we got a bit more out of ourselves. Okay. Get my breath back. Yeah. I don't think we spare the horses there. Yeah, apologies to you at home as well. I thought that was 30 seconds at the end. I think we'll go with that. So just spin the legs. Effort level of four. Gradually dropping it back down. Try and get legs turning. About 90 though. So this is just a half an hour session. No harm after the session's finished. So just Continuing to warm down for a little bit longer. But this session has got it all. Nice warm up, nice bit of tempo riding, nice warm down, and some efforts at threshold, taking you into a real top end inter uh, interval. Really help with your top end. And those guys, that's, you know, that's a, a hit interval session. Doing the, the intervals off the back of riding at your FTP, it's going to help with the ultimate your endurance as well, isn't it? These, these kind of efforts really help you end of a race when you really need to lay everything down and you know just make that quick, critical moment when you need to just do everything you can to win so these kind of efforts and intervals that, that work definitely wait you heard it there from a couple of the best riders in the world we need to take this bit of time to thank you for joining us All just right. keep spinning those legs oh. and again just knock the resistance down on the trainer here, using the app just to take a bit of that resistance off. Just spin the legs, uh, warm down, it's very, very important as well. Still got a minute and a half of this warm down, but talk about planning your training. Plan these sessions as well, especially if you are crunched for time, which most people are. Not everybody, you know, is one of the best professional riders in the world. They have a little bit more time, but if you plan your time, you'll get much more out of it. So clear your space, make sure it's ventilated, get your drinks ready before the ride, one on your bike, one for immediately afterwards. One of my little tips that I really like is to make a fruit smoothie to have afterwards. It's really important after a session, even as short as this, that you replenish those glycogen stores, make, make, make sure that from a hydration perspective you're topped up as well. So have it all laid out and you'll become far more efficient. And get that and make that as part of your routine. And also I wouldn't advise if you're just coming into the sport doing these sessions too many of these sessions back to back, they're very, very intensive. So kind of break up the week with lots of sleep, lots of recovery, and some other endurance based sessions. But, uh, but believe you me, if you get your recovery right, get your strategy right, as these boys have already said, you can really reap the benefits, become faster and fitter. So guys, as we head in the last 20 seconds, thanks very much. No worries. Best of luck Anytime. this season. <laughs> We're gonna go off for a cake in a minute. <laughs> definitely a bit of a lie down so just keep the legs turning just the last few seconds and there we have it well thanks very much for joining us thanks again guys thanks to elite 
as well for supplying these Diretto trainers. Now, if you haven't subscribed already to GCN, you can do so by clicking on the globe. Don't forget to like and share this video. And for another training video, how about joining me as I headed up the Campolongo Pass in the Dolomites?